I don't have good hair. So I always have to use frontal or closure. <sighs> Hi, I'm Dimola Didoni. I'm an actor and an entrepreneur. Hi everybody, my name is Adebukala Alakupo and I am an actor and a model and sometimes a writer. The first thing I ever cooked was chicken stew. Yeah, you yeah. You didn't even try out Indomie first? No, that time it wasn't about Indomie. My sister was trying to teach me how to cook so that girls won't, so that nobody would trap and me. And you started with chicken. Yes. Yeah, you didn't so start with eggs or plantain up, or something simple. Straight up, straight up. Deep end, deep end. How did that turn out? It was, uh -uh. if you try me today, the, the stew is heavy. Still heavy. Can you still cook? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's probably one of. No, no, no. Mine was Indomie shine, it was soft. I put sardine inside. And if you don't cook Indomie and sardine well, sardine has a way of making your noodles soft. Mm. So I put it in for tuna. I made four noodles, boiled egg, and sardine. It sounds slimy. And yeah, it was disgusting. Besides car house, hair. For me, shoes. Shoes, really. I don't have good hair. So I always have to use frontal or closure. God didn't give some of us good hair, but thank God. So I had to buy frontal and very soft texture so it can look really nice. This is not the most expensive hair, right. but the one I have at home, I rock it once in a while so it doesn't lose mm -hmm. quality because you know you have to maintain the price. And you need it for a long time. Thank you. You need to get your money's worth. Because I'm not trying to buy another one like that. <laughs> for me, it's shoes. I, I just have an addiction to like shoes, sneakers, you know, just footwear in general, accessories, but mainly shoes. And it was at, at a time in my life when I wasn't really earning the money I was spending. Oh, so it won't cost you more. So, and it was just beautiful and original and it just there. Yeah. So I just... It was already done. As you soon as I saw it, it was already in my house. So, no, no, I, I was okay for some time. Yeah, yeah, I was okay until I got back, and then, then the real life, um, then the real life hit oh, me. Oh, I don't go back. Oh, wait, wait, wait. IJGV. Yeah, yeah, hey. yeah, 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 yeah. There was this girl. I remember her name. I remember everything. But I it was many years ago. I was over the moon about this girl. But she wasn't giving me any face, you know, she wasn't interested or she was and she was just, you mm -hmm. know, forming or whatever. So, someone said to me, you know, that kind of girl that she's very emotional, she's very romantic. Mm -hmm. What she actually wants is for you to tell her how you feel. So you need to tell her you love her. Mm -hmm. But that time, you know, pizza in Lagos, you know, pizza was a big deal, right? Mm -hmm. So I bought a couple of pizzas and I went over to her house. I usually at the gate for like five minutes. Mm -hmm. I waited at that gate for like four or five hours that day. About the pizza. And I was going it going over it in my head how I was going to say it when I delivered the pizza. <laughs> she finally came out. I thought I was going to get invited inside now. So I just handed over the pizza and I said, been wanting to tell you something. Mm. And here I am. <laughs> you know, I love you so much. And I think about you all the time. <laughs> and she said, thank you. And she gave me a hug. And then she went inside. What happened to the pizza? I've told I love you to so many people. I can't. So this time I was in secondary school, a lot of things happened to me in secondary school. I've been heartbroken so many times. Oh. You would think that I haven't, but I have. So I wrote then it was love letter. Because mm. I didn't even have the courage to go and walk up to this guy. I've been questioning him since just two. And then I was in Caleb, the one in Lekki. Then he left in just two. Just three, I was still in Caleb Lekki. Then I went to Caleb Magodo SSO and he was there. <laughs> So Fate in just three, I know. In just three, my cousin was in Caleb Magodo. So I wrote a letter. I sprayed perfume, my mom's perfume, by the way. I sprayed it on the paper. I gave it to my cousin to give it to him. 
So I had to wait for my cousin because it was a border. So I had to wait for holiday time for him to tell me what was going on. And he came back and said, Oh, that I gave it to Latif. I hope he doesn't watch this. <laughs> you haven't seen me. He gave it to him. And that he just stole it and hissed and left. How did that make you feel? <laughs> just, I'm sorry. Seriously, did you cry? Of course, I cried. Right there. It was painful. Oh my god! You said I love you. Put your heart out on a piece of paper and oh put perfume, god. and somebody oh just tore it and said, "Yeah." It's painful. But look at you now. Look at me now. Mm -hmm. In your face, like this. Heartbreaker. <laughs> eh? Is you breaking hearts now? <laughs> My sister, she's not in Nigeria anymore. She's in Canada schooling. <sighs> so emotional. So we've been best friends since I was small and close. Anytime they take her to boarding school, I will cry. I always want to kill myself. I remember one time when she went to the hostel, and that day I was crying. I took a knife, tried to stab myself. I was what? running out alone in the house because I was. When you take, when you're used to someone, yeah. or when you love someone so much, and they just take the person away, it, it feels like you've lost a mm -hmm. huge part. It's so yeah, physical pain. Yeah. yeah, I love you, sister. I miss you so much. I can't wait to come visit, or you come visit me. Kisses from your beloved sister. <laughs> the person I miss the most, actually, mm. is my sister as well. <laughs> but she passed away last year. Right. She was like, she was like a combination of things in my life. She was my mother and she was my best too. Sis, I miss you. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten the plan. It's on course, everything is, everything is on course. I'm going to start calling you every time to make sure everything is still on course. <laughs> Are you sure you don't have any more questions? Mm. No.